And in the ring, when you've got a jab like he does, that's how you defend yourself. You know, Perez has the right idea. He, he tried to wing a, a, a wide left hook when Kelly Open was pulling out. He, he blocked it. Kelly Open blocked it with his right hand, but that's the right idea by Perez. That right hand moved Perez. It is some interesting matchmaking here. I mean, Perez obviously not highly successful, but rarely do you see a fighter <laughs> with four professional fights coming in with the guy with 70 some odd fights. It looks like an El Gallo in there, Sergio. Yeah, he does. Like a rooster. Oh, oh, oh. But a lot of fighters are gonna try and do this to him, aren't they? Yeah, well, I mean. Oh, big uppercut. And maybe Kaliupu can get the finish. He rocked him there. That rock right there, the uppercut and the left hook. And that's, that's the best punch by Perez, that left hand. It's a jab, uppercut, left hook. Might be a little bit too late. 27 seconds to go. Perez having some problems with his balance. Oh, big right again from Kaliopu. Perez is hurt. Oh, yeah. Is he going to make it to the bell? I would love to see a flurry from Kaliopu, and he might force Corona to stop this fight, knock down or not. Perez has no legs under him. Caught him again, but just not enough time for Dallas Kaliopu, who dominates Jonathan Perez. Six rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. The totals are 60 yeah, 52. Yeah. Your winner by unanimous decision, he is still undefeated, Dallas Kaliopu! Right here, facing me, half east. Okay, yeah. These trunks, they're right at the line of the belly button. I might let them work right in this. Okay, and these trunks are fine. I gave you guys both instructions in the dress room. I want to remind you to please listen and follow my requests at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. So this fight has been a pretty good one. Even a fair. We're in round four. Scheduled for eight. Eric Tudor had seven fights last year, Sergio. He's cramming in an education as a 21-year-old professional. All his fights have been in 2022, and now, you know, he's in there with the undefeated fighter that's not going anywhere. I mean, he's going to have to earn this victory, and he has to get some respect, I'll tell you this, because we're halfway in. This is a crucial round for Tudor. He doesn't want this fight to get away from him. Nice jabs, jabs from Kato Kane. Because jabs like that are taking the confidence away from the taller fighter. Stop, 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 Oh, stop. and that was Nobody a big points. headbutt, and we've got Here, a cut. Time out, time out. We've Here, got a see. big cut. That was an accidental Thanks. clash of heads. Did you get it? You get that Did from a South Point Orthodox fighter? I got Marco. Mark, I got a laceration above the right eye from a pretty hard accidental butt. Are you good? You ready to go? So that's, not, butt. that's not going to help things, as Eric Tudor was already dealing with adversity, but he's coming out angry. Sometimes what he needs. Sometimes a cut will wake you up and make you fight a lot more aggressively. And look at Tudor, light him up! That's what I was about to say, Chris, because that's exactly what I used to do when I would get cut. Win, lose, or draw, I'm going for it. And he looks like Arturo Gotti now. Yes, he does. Let the thunder come out. And this crowd is into it. They like the sight of blood here in Long Beach. And this is where wearing white gloves and a white outfit are a detriment because the more you bleed, the more it looks like you're losing this fight. Both men seem relatively fresh. Let's see if they let it all hang out. Good body shot from Kato Kane there. He's been in that body shot. Lefts and rights have been gutting. They've been gutting to her. And you can see the body language. He's hurt. He's been hurt down there. He's tired. Another right for Tudor. Oof, just barely missed the knockout punch right there, Tudor. Fantastic fight between Eric Tudor and Damani Kato K. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Dr. Lou Moret scores at 80-72. Robert Hoyle and Pat Russell see at 
74. All for your winner by unanimous decision. He is still undefeated from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Right here is going to be around legal. Yeah. Gentlemen, you, you have received your instructions and the dressing room. Stop right at the end of the field. Stop going in half coming in. Text them up. Good luck to both of you. Eighth round. We got three to go, Sergio. What do you want to see differently from Alex Martin? Well, Martin's not going to be able to hurt uh, Duarte, so he, need, he needs to win these rounds by using the ring and getting respect with that jab. Doubling and tripping up that jab, then gutting them to the body. But do not stay there for Duarte to retaliate. So you're just gonna have to get on your bike and power box. And do not let Duarte dig down to the body like that. You have to keep that distance. Well, Martin's complaining and Duarte's throwing bombs. I don't know if you can complain if he turned in that direction. And a guy, I don't, obviously Duarte's not able to Oh, big right hand from the Mexican, and Martin goes down. He's in big trouble. Martin's hurt. Martin is hurt. This, this fight should be stopped. He has no legs. He is hurt. They're going to let him continue. Let's see what Duarte has made of this here. It's going to be ugly, guys. This is going to be ugly. Got him again, and down he goes again, and they've waved it off. What a win for Oscar Duarte! That's how you close down the distance. That's how you shut down fighters. That's how you trap guys and cuties like Martin. You break them down, and you land the big shots, stop them late in the round. This is good right here. This is good right here. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. God bless. Good body shot from JoJo. Yeah, those body shots are slowing down the movement and the footwork of Hesta. You can see Hesta's not four rounds in, and he's not moving as much as he was in the early thir three rounds. JoJo doing a lot of stalking right now, but not much praying. Good left there from Hesta. Just kind of pity padding right now. Good body shot there from Hesta. This more of a chess match round. The last one was more of a brawl. Depending on where you look, Diaz Jr. was about an eight to one favorite in this one, Sergio. I can't believe that. I mean, no respect for Hesta, and, it, and, and Hesta's proving him wrong so far. It's the footwork and it's the movement that, that I'm impressed with Hesta. He's not standing in front of JoJo too long to get anything back. Yeah, I was just talking to Marvin Simonio, the trainer for Recito Hesta. He said, speed, 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 and then move. Stick and move. He doesn't want him in one spot trading punches with Jojo Diaz. And that's exactly what's giving Jojo issues. You know, Jojo's a lot more flat-footed. And the only time he gets off is when Hesta's against the ropes. And when he had the legs under him and moving like he is right now, it made it really difficult for Jojo to get it back. But both these guys are tired, both of them laying it all on the line right here. One minute. Fantastic effort from both of these fighters who said, respectively, this was the biggest fight of their lives. Has to have it a pretty good fight now, it. but there's Push Diaz up. right there in front of him. He's been in front of him, and that's the thing. In a close fight like that, a lot of judges like the fighter that's coming forward. And if that's the case, JoJo's been coming forward looking for, for the punches this entire fight mostly. 
some of these rounds could come down to do you like the pressure or do you like, like the guys, activity? Guys, stop. Take a step back. Listen. Listen. Come on. Big left hand there from Hesta. What do you think? Who do you have? After 10 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards one more time. Long Beach, put your hands together for both of these super lightweight warriors. Pam Hayashida scores it 97-93. Diaz. Alejandro Rochin, 99-91. Hesta. And Pat Russell scores his belt. 98-92 for your winner by split decision from San Diego, California. Mercy call. No mercy. Hesta. It seems like even Hesta can't believe that he did it. Those scorecards, Sergio, were all over the place. I don't know what, I mean, Pat Russell gave 98-92 to Hesta. I, I don't know what to say there, but I, I don't hate on the fact that Hester won this fight. I just don't like the scorecards and the wide margin. 99, 91, 98, 92, I just don't see that.